iPods and MP3s, laptops to desktops, cell phones to iPhones. All were not around at one time. Your math homework would be the hardest part of your day, since there were no calculators. Believe it or not, the first calculator was the size of an average room. Producing a simple answer like 2 plus 2 was a complex job and involved punch readers, three or more memory blocks, two registers, selection unit, program unit, sign unit, the list goes on and on. Even if it came up with the wrong answer, people were still amazed that it even answered. Who was the person responsible for this breakthrough? A man by the name of Conrad Zeus. He was a simple German who had a dream that could transform the entire world. Slowly over time, he constructed a gigantic thing, all under the cover of his parents' living room. The Z1 was the first ever working computer, finished in 1938. It could perform basic equations, but it had a long way to go. It had the basic components of modern computers. It was the precursor of the technology yet to come and just the dreams of others before him. Before Conrad Zeus invented his computer, he was a student at Polytechnical Institute of Berlin, Charlottenburg, in 1934. After he graduated, he was bored from the long hours of solving linear calculations as a civil engineer. He decided to invent a machine to do his calculations and left his job at Henschel Aircraft Company to do so. After Conrad Zeus created his next computer, the Z2, he built the next great computer in history, the Z3. The Z3 was nearly the same as the Z1, but was much more reliable. It could perform basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, calculate square roots, and multiply by negative numbers. It was a major improvement from his first computer, the Z1, and it was the first ever fully programmable computer. After Conrad Zeus completed the Z3 in 1941, both the Z1 and Z3 were destroyed by Allied air raids in World War II during 1943 and 1944. Conrad Zeus later rebuilt the Z3 as the Z4 with a greater memory. The government was partially interested in this new development and decided to grant some money to Conrad Zeus to create his computers. Over time, computers became the number one wanted item in the world. Over the years, Conrad Zeus made more models and soon the latest model could fit onto a desk. Of course, nowadays, the desktop computer is starting to fall into second place against its newer competitor, the laptop. Portability goes against reliability. Today, nobody thinks about what our past relatives had for a computer. A 50 pound bulky box with a 5 inch screen. Conrad Zeus also invented a specific computer language called Plain Calcool in 1945. He did many things with this and his new computer, the Z3, which used it. He also made a chess game that was designed with Plain Calcool. A very simple one, of course, considering that the computers at the time were that simple. Plain Calcool was the predecessor of the modern algorithmic programming languages. Zeus created his own company, the first computer company in the world, the Zeus KG, with five other employees in a trading post north of Frankfurt, Germany in 1946. Conrad Zeus restored the Z4 from the air raids of World War II after he created Zeus KG. In 1964, Zeus KG was bought by Reinstall, then later by BBC, and finally, in 1967, by the Simons Company. Conrad Zeus left his company in 1969. Conrad Zeus paved the way to the future, a pathway through which everybody has or will pass. Just think, if Conrad Zeus had not invented the computer, it could have taken years until someone else, like Bill Gates, could have came and invented it later. Then we would not have some of the technology that we have now. Even if you had a cell phone or iPod, they would be much different. Look at your cell phone, your iPod, or your laptop, and think back to the amazement of when a computer could do math, then type things, then make music, then video, and finally, the internet. Conrad Zeus is no longer living, as he died in 1995. Even though he is gone, his legacy prevails him. He left behind not only technology and computers, but also knowledge, ideas, learning, 
the way of the world, and the future of the earth.